from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Jane O'Connor is the author of more than 50 books. 50, Say that again. 50 books. You can believe that? Wow. For children, uh, for children, including Fancy Nancy series, six of which she, six of which she has uh, been number one New York Times bestseller. Six times. Six times. That's amazing. So six times fifty is no. <laughs> <laughs> In addition, she has written one book uh, for grown-ups, a spooky mystery called Dangerous Admissions. Jane was born, bred, and still lives on the Upper West Side of Manhattan with her husband Jim and their canine companion Arrow. Do you love fancy things like stickers, sparkles, and purses? I do. I do. You do? I, I, I'm, I, I mean, I'm saying I, <laughs> I like G.I. Joe's and Transformers and stuff. Of course, of stuff. course, of course. Well, you will absolutely love the Fancy Nancy books. Have you heard of the Fancy Nancy books? Show of hands, show of hands. Woo! I think we got some fans here. Oh, we sure do. Well, Let's you're in for a real treat. Let's give a fancy welcome for our next author, <laughs> Miss Jane O'Connor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Bonjour. Can you all say hello back to me in French? Bonjour. A whole French-speaking crowd. I love it. Well, I am going to read Fancy Nancy and the fabulous fashion boutique. But first, I thought I'd tell you just a few things about myself. Well, you know that Fancy Nancy is a little girl who loves to dress up and be fancy. So do you think I got the idea for Fancy Nancy because I have a granddaughter that likes to be fancy? If you think that's the reason, raise your hand and say yes. No, you're all wrong. Do you think I had a daughter and she dressed up and was fancy when she was a little girl. Everybody who thinks yes, raise your hand and say, wee, wee, wee. wee, wee, wee. No, no, no. I only had sons, two great big boys now, men. So how many people think that maybe I was sort of like Fancy Nancy when I was a little girl. Yes, you are correct. That is exact. When I was little, I loved to look glamorous, especially when my grandmother and my great aunts would come to visit on Sunday. And I would greet them at the door in a tutu and a red cape and I was dripping jewelry and wearing a pair of my mother's heels, and I thought I looked gorgeous. So that's where Fancy Nancy came from. And this book is about Fancy Nancy opening up her own store, which is called a boutique. So you're gonna be able, I certainly hope, to see all the pictures as I read on one of the two screens, okay? So here we go. Fancy Nancy and the Fabulous Fashion Boutique. <laughs> it's my sister's birthday on Saturday. So we are going shopping on a shopping spree. That means we're buying balloons, napkins, party plates, cups, a ton of stuff. And do you see they're going into a store that's called Party World. And do you see something else? There's a dog walker. And do you see some of this tiny little dog has just made a little tiny dog poop that the dog walker is cleaning up. 
We have a dog and we spend a lot of time on walks cleaning up dog poop. My sister and Freddie are only interested in pirates, pirates, pirates. They're completely obsessed. And look, do you see what they have in the uh, supermarket cart at the store? They have a pirate flag, a pirate ship. Freddie has this huge pirate hat on. So Nancy sneaks over to another aisle. When she's not looking, I get my sister the perfect present, a black eye patch. And do you see? Here's the package, and it says, Shiver Me Timbers Eye Patch. Do you think an eye patch is a good present for a little girl who likes pirates? Yeah, me too. On the way home, my mom agrees to stop at Belle's Fabulous Fashion Boutique. Last week, I saw the most beautiful lace fans there. <gasps> Ooh la la. One of the fans is on the table. Can you see it in the picture? But I spent nearly all my money on my old gowns and accessories. Girls, you know what? I would like it if you could sit down, okay? Because I'm worried you're going to hurt yourself here, okay? Thank you. Everything will be a bargain. If we make enough money, that lace fan will be mine. Oh, and look, here's a whole picture where Nancy and her family are setting up the shop, and she's going to sell all her old accessories. Says affordable fashions for all ages. And look, Nancy's dog, Frenchie, has a sign that says, dogs welcome. <gasps> Voila, my first customers arrived. Rhonda and Wanda from across the street. Welcome to my boutique, I say. That's French for a fancy store. And you can see that Rhonda and Wanda are sisters, but what else are they? Twins, they are identical twins. And do you see Nancy's curtsying to them? Do you all know how to curtsy? You all? Yes, it's a very, oh, you did that beautifully. Do you have any dresses with ruffles, Rhonda asks. Do I? Practically every dress in my boutique has ruffles. Follow me to the dressing room, I say. And do you see the dressing room is really a shower curtain that's tied around the tree. And look, Rhonda comes out in the dress. <gasps> that looks stunning on you, I tell Rhonda. It matches your eyes. Rhonda says she'll take it. <gasps> Ooh la la, my first fail. Wanda likes one of the necklaces. It's made of rhinestones. Rhinestones are genuine fake diamonds, I explain. Is anybody here wearing genuine fake diamonds? I bet so. Oh, yes, 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 you are. Beautiful rhinestones. And Wanda says, I'll come back after I get my allowance. Look who else likes that necklace. Who is, hi, it's Nancy's little sister. And she says, no, she can't have it. 
I want it, my sister says. I pretend not to hear. Au revoir, I wave to the twins. More customers come. In practically no time, I sell a boa, a parasol, which is like an umbrella, and two pairs of high heels. The money is piling up. Now, who knows what au revoir means? Shout it out to me. Goodbye, yes, au revoir. Unfortunately, business is much slower the next day. Freddie wants a red cape, but I explain that the fashion boutique does not accept chocolate coins. Now, if you were selling something, would you accept chocolate money or would you want real money? Probably, unless you really like chocolate a lot. My sister still wants the rhinestone necklace. Here, she gives me a penny. I try to make her understand. The necklace costs way more than a penny. And anyway, you like pirate stuff. Pirates don't wear rhinestone necklaces. My sister does not understand. She throws a tantrum, a tremendous, gigantic, horrendous tantrum. Now, who in the audience has a little sister or brother that's ever had a tantrum? Raise your hand. Yeah. Now, I have another question for you. Raise your hand if you've ever had a tantrum. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> This is a very, very honest audience. And show me the kind of face that you make when you throw a tantrum. Make your worst temper tantrum face for me. Do you go like that? Oh, there's a professional here. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, very good. I like the way you cross your arms. That always works. Very good. Sure enough, Wanda shows up right then to buy the necklace. And look, Nancy's sister is being dragged off by her mom. Double ooh la la. I have enough money now to buy that beautiful fan. Later on, my sister catches me wrapping her birthday present. Is it the pretty necklace? She asks, is it the pretty necklace? It's a surprise is all I say. Did Nancy buy her the necklace? No, what'd she buy her? The eye patch. Oh, now Nancy. Nancy doesn't know what to do. Suddenly I feel bad. I don't want her to be disappointed on her birthday. I asked Dad to walk me over to the twins' house. Is there any way I can persuade you to return the necklace, I asked Wanda. Persuade is fancy for getting somebody to do what you want. Here's what I have to do to persuade Rhonda. I give back her money and I give her two bracelets and a ring for free. I guess I have to forget about that beautiful fan. Oh, look. On Saturday morning, my sister opens her presents. She loves the eye patch. And she is overjoyed. That's super duper happy when she sees the necklace. And look, she's wearing both of them when her guests arrive. And look, she's wearing pirate shoes and a pirate hat and the pirate flag. And look at Nancy's puppy, Frenchie. 
She's wearing a pirate hat, and she has a little teeny pirate flag attached to her tail. The pirate treasure hunt is just beginning when, uh-oh, it starts raining. We all hurry inside. Wait a minute, here we go. The rain does not stop. What do we do now, my sister asks? My party is no fun. Hey, why don't we put on a fashion show, I say. Everybody dresses up in all the leftover stuff from my boutique. Then I race downstairs for bananas. Why? Well, you'll find out. Balancing a banana on your head makes you walk tall and straight like a model. I demonstrate. That's fancy for show how to do it. And look, everybody is practicing banana walking. And when you all get home, I expect you to banana walk and teach your parents how to do it. And look, even Frenchie the dog is banana walking. And Nancy's little sister. And even her doll, Maribel, has a banana on her head. It's very silly. Just like at a real fashion show, I describe each ensemble. Ladies and gentlemen, doesn't the pirate queen look lovely in her royal blue evening gown? And look, she's still wearing the eye patch and the necklace. At the end, there is lots of applause. That's fancy for clapping. Now it's time for the cake. Oh, and look at the cake. It looks like a pirate treasure chest with candy jewelry. We all sing, happy birthday, dear Jojo. You are a wonderful big sister, my dad whispers to me. I feel so happy, almost like it's my birthday too. The next day, there is a surprise, a big sister present. It's the fan, and look, Nancy's got it here. Don't you love happy endings? I like happy endings, too. Oh, you were all such a good audience. Hi there. I saw a lot of you on the line before, so I'm really glad that you stayed for the story. Yeah. And thank you all for coming. I'm so glad it didn't rain. That would have been a disaster. And have a great time at the rest of the book festival. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.